Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how you can set up your own proxy server using Google App Engine. To get started, download the Python dev environment from python.org. It's a free download and uh, just follow the on-screen instructions. It's pretty simple and it should install in two minutes. Next, go to the Google App Engine website and download their SDK for Python. We're using Python Air, though you can also use Java, but we'll use Python for this tutorial. Now, uh, this is again a pretty s simple installation. Just follow the defaults and this should also install in two minutes. Since you're setting up your first application, Google will verify your mobile number. They'll send you an authentication code. Just type that in and your status would be verified. We're all set now. Now just uh, find some name for your application. We call it Labnol Web Proxy, but you can call it anything that's available. Now to f find if a domain is available, just click the check availability button. And if that domain is available, just copy the domain address to the clipboard because we'll need it later. Now click the save button to create your application. Go back to your desktop and start the Google App Engine program. Now it will show you an error because it's not able to find the Python and all the other programs on your computer. So we can fix that from the preferences window. Just uh, just type the right paths. For instance, Python is under C colon Python. The App Engine will be under program files, Google slash Google App Engine. And we'll also need to configure our notepad as the default editor for App Engine. So that's generally available under C windows. Now once you are done, click OK to save your changes. Now remember the application that we saved to a desktop. We'll add that application to Google App Engine. Just browse for the source code and uh, add it to Google App Engine. Now you'll see something called your app ID. You need to replace that with your application name. So click the edit button and change the your app ID with the actual web application that you created earlier save the changes click the deploy button to deploy this application to your google app engine account you will need to supply your google credentials these are the same credentials that you initially used to create your google app engine account so if everything goes fine your application should be deployed in the next two minutes switch to your web browser and type the address of your proxy server this is your google app id dot appspot dot com and uh, there you have it so just type the address of any website that you want to browse through the proxy server in this case let's say bbc.com click the go button and uh, there you have it